Hey folks, my name is Umkar Jagdari and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about Masters of Science in Civil Engineering. So I'm going to talk to you how you can pursue your Masters in US, what kind of opportunities you have, and what are the different disciplines you can pursue under civil engineering. Because civil engineering itself is a very broad field and it's divided into multiple disciplines like structural engineering, construction management, geotechnical, highway engineering. So I'm going to talk to you about that today. So what is Masters of Science in Civil Engineering in US? Okay, I'm going to talk only for US. So first of all, any look university you look at, usually you'll have to take about 10 to 12 classes to graduate in your entire master's program. So master's program lasts usually between, I would say one and a half to two years. Most of them are four semesters, so I would say two years. So you should look at about two years of program. Now what kind of cost you should be expecting so like i said earlier <clears throat> you have to do about 10 to 12 classes every year every for the entire masters so that is equal so one class is equal to three credits so what are credits credits is basically how many number of hours you have to sit in class for per week so if you're taking six credits a semester that means you have to sit in the class for six hours a week so every credit depending upon which university you go to, costs between about $800 to $1,200. So the university I went to, Lawrence Tech, it cost me $1,000 per credit to graduate. I did my undergrad, but I have friends who did me a master's. So for a master's, I would look into about 10 to 12 classes, which is about 10 times 3, 30 to 36 credits. So your master's should cost you anywhere between $30,000 to $36,000 plus whatever the tuition fees, whatever extra they add every year, which is $500 for international student fee and extra. So I would say about $40,000. So you should look, if you're going to a reputed university, you should look at about $40,000 for your, just your master's program. I'm not adding living expenses here. That can be another $15,000. So your entire master's should be completed between fifty-five dollars to $60,000, depending upon which university you go to, which state you go to. So. The different kind of fields in civil engineering some of you may be really excited for this so first of all i'm going to talk about structural engineering right now in us there are not many structural engineers that's why structural engineering field is actually in demand so if you are someone who is interested in structural engineering who wants to pursue it or who likes design and technical knowledge that may be a good field for you to look into because this kind of field always have uh, sponsorship available depending upon which company it is but there are plenty of opportunities and also I found out from personal experience that it's one of the field where you also qualify for higher level of incomes right from the beginning so it's it, it is a little bit higher paid field among civil engineering disciplines so if you are like that um, send, drop a comment uh, and I will uh, answer some of your questions in that okay so second discipline I'm going to talk about is construction management. So MS in construction management. Again, this is one of that degrees which allows you to enter any different field. So you can work in construction management, you can work as a project manager, you can even get into other civil disciplines like geotech or um, highway because this degree is kind of like designed for you to learn a little bit of everything. So I have a friend, for example, who graduated with an MS degree in construction management, and he's working now in geotechnical. So it really doesn't stop you from getting into any other fields, from my experience. So I think this is a good degree if you don't know where to start, uh, or you don't have a specific interest in mind. So the third degree I'm gonna talk about is my degree, which is uh, highway engineering. So actually I've done my undergrad in civil engineering in US, but I have taken some classes in highway engineering in my master's program. Uh, I've taken a couple of master's classes. So I've not done my master's in civil engineering. Uh, my master's is actually, I'm doing an MBA in project management. That's a different story. But, so coming back to highway engineering, it's just like any other discipline, there is a lot more opportunity in US right now. There are a lot of infrastructure growth happening where money is invested in highways and roads and construction like that. So it's a good field, it's a growing field, and I don't think you should have um, problems finding a job in it if you know what you're doing. So that's that. So some of the other fields include geotechnical engineering. This is basically an engineering where you are really working on soil mechanics, everything under the ground. So 
that if you are something like that interested in that us has a good opportunities for that it's not as recognized as other you other degrees but i would definitely encourage you to look into it more uh, another degree is environmental engineering and water resource engineering so these from my experience are not very popular but there are a lot of students who are doing their phd's in it they are doing their masters in it and they don't have tough time finding jobs you know it might take you some time but if you have if you make sure that you do a proper internship in your masters program it shouldn't be hard for you to find jobs because from my experience there's not much competition in that so i think that's pretty much what i had on this uh, topic um what i would appreciate if you can do is put a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i really appreciate that if you have any questions put in the comments so that way i can address them if you have something which you don't agree with uh, let me know i would love to uh, change my opinion with that but uh, i'll see you in the next video and uh, you have a good one